Alright, my name is Brandon and I'm going to demonstrate to you my Surface Pro dual boot. So I created my own bootloader as you can see, and this is the Surface Pro. Let's make sure you guys can see it. Right. Ooh, look at that nice little kickstand, all that stuff. Um, now this was actually pretty easy. You can get it done within 15 to 30 minutes. I went through all the trouble of finding out what you can and can't do and what need to be done for you. You can follow the instructions in the Ask Ubuntu Wiki Archive. And first here we're going to go ahead and load up Windows 8. And as you can see we have Ubuntu, Repair, Windows 8, and Secure Boot. Um, I left the Secure Boot feature in there because I want to easily be able to de or activate it or deactivate it. Um, would have to be done from Windows. But the Repair also gives you the refreshed kernel and the option to repair your cur current kernel. All right, so we're going to go ahead and continue on. It's loading Windows. And there's Windows. Now, the reason why I wanted to keep Windows on here is because it actually allows me to work with Photoshop, which was huge. And that's how I ended up creating the bootloader. So just want to go ahead and show you. It runs well on the Surface Pro, um, very well actually. I used Photoshop, uh, Adobe Illustrator actually initially because that's where our, my logo and graphics originally are made in and, and I moved over to Photoshop just because it's a little bit easier to edit the things I was editing. Um, and that's about it. I just wanted to go ahead and show you that and we're going to go ahead and load out here. I should have hit restart. I'll go ahead and power back on. And I have it load straight into Ubuntu. It's on the three second timer. And everything. And power button again. Must not hit it. And it'll load straight into Ubuntu. Hey, there's nothing there. It would be for terminal text if it should displays. Goes into Ubuntu. Bam. Um, you still have the Wi-Fi driver issue, which you will need to still apply a fix to until Ubuntu repairs this. I don't know where that's at. I know a couple people have reported bugs on it. We'll see if there's a fix soon. Uh, this works great with either 12.10 or 13.04. Uh, keep in mind 13.04 is in beta, but it's basically out for release, and it's 10 times nicer when working with it on the surface because it's a lot more touch capable. Uh, that's about it. If you have any questions, go ahead and respond in the Ask Ubuntu Wiki Archive on the instructions for this, which will be below, or go ahead and email me at support at themindspot.com. You guys have a great day. I'm out.